Let us sing this song. Down at the cross where our Savior died. Down on the road cleansing from sin, I cried. There to my heart was the blood of God. Singing Lord, it to give me and singing Lord, and to give me and his precious name. Singing Lord, it to give me and I love his name.
Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God, we say thank you, first of all, for what you have done for us. We give you glory, we give you the praise. We thank you for your presence in this place because you are the God of my birth, God. Lord, we just want to honor you today for being the God that you are. There is no one like you. No one will be like you because you are the God of my birth. There is no one that you cannot do, no one that you have in life because you are the God of my birth. And we glorify you today. We glorify you and we magnify you in this place. God, we glorify you and we say, Thank you. We praise you for the healing power. We praise you for your mercy. We praise you for the very new mercy that is born. The new mercy that is born. You are the mercy of God. You are the mercy of God. And you are the mercy of God.
though we're in the midst of a pandemic, we still can praise our God. We can still lift up holy hands and give him honor and glory. Because he woke us up this morning, he started on the way. We realize he didn't have to do it, but he did. We can be in a hospital right now, but thank God we're in the house of God, praising our God, lifting up holy hands. So therefore, I owe him the praise. I owe him the glory. I just thank God for one more day. No matter what goes on, we have to say it's all good. It, it's all good. We praise God no matter what's going on. The Bible says we glory in tribulation. No matter what my situation is, I still got a reason to praise my God. Somebody said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise should continue to be in my mouth. I got to praise my God. I got to give him the honor and the glory, because he woke me up this morning. He's falling on my way. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Even though my alarm clock went off, I could not have had breath in my body, but the fact that God woke me up, I heard the alarm clock, so therefore I got to give him the honor and the praise. It's all good. No matter what happens, it's all good. Because we got to understand that God is still in control. Yeah. God controls everything. So therefore, we got to understand it's all good. Yeah. Romans chapter 8, verse 28 says, And we know that all things work together for the good. To them who love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. It's not going to work out for the good. It's going to work out after a while. It may not seem good, but we know it's going to work out for the good because God has everything under control. Control. And what I like about it, I was saying, and we know, when you got God down on the inside, no matter what's going on, on the inside, I know it's going to be all right. Even though I, I may not see it, but on the inside, in my spirit, I know it's going to be all right. So therefore, I can praise God, I can worship God, because I know I gotta tell myself. 
turned this war, this, this, this rock, into bread. But Jesus understood who he was. He did not go for that. He said that not, man must not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So you got to learn how to talk to yourself. You got to learn how to talk to yourself. When David was in zigzag, and the zigzag was burned up, and his own men talked about stoning him to death. But the Bible said David encouraged himself in the Lord. You got to learn how to encourage yourself.
that that's my baby sister texting me from the state of Texas. Uh, she's so smart, she's so fun. What you want me to do, lady?
Even in our city, support this ministry. That are on our social media platform, support our the temple of the in ministry. By his principle, you are the leader temple. We're looking at our homepage, etc. Dollar sign etc. Six thirty seven. Members of the leader temple, make sure you support. Like tap to continue. Yes, right now, the front of people that's doing a lot of work and we hear early, come early, leave late. Verses have to be, prayer team has to be here. But we all have to put our weight by praying and by investing in the ministry. And I appreciate your investment. If you don't have cash out, you have give me five. Download it, give them five, and you know, look up the Lisa Temple in Lansing, 36, 37, and send that gift to the church. You also have the U.S. Bank, 36, 36, 7, 36, 37, West John Road, uh, 4891, send that in the mail, and you also have the old fashioned one. You have Deacon Haley, Deacon Johnson, sitting out there in the parking lot, in the door. As you come in, they're not just sitting there with decorators. They sit there and receive your gift. So I need your support. I need you to continue to give me the gift. We have a special need that we have to address tomorrow. And I want to give the gift. The little soul shall be made fat. I need to raise somewhere around, for this need tomorrow, somewhere around $2,000. I know that's a lot. This has nothing to do with what we normally do at the church. Uh, and it has nothing to do with what we normally do at the church. This is beyond that. This need just arose. And so we're going to raise that money. And if you would be willing to give me half of it, Lady Max wanted myself to give the other half. Matter of fact, even if you don't give the other half, we're going to give that half. So that's $1,000. Amen. And Deacon Timmy hear me say that. They'll come and get into it. They ain't just whistling dicks. So we're going to sow to the kingdom that liberal gift because there is a need that we have in ministry. God bless you, Dennis Mark, you tonight at 6 o'clock, nationwide Bible class, and then at 7 o'clock, nationwide prayer. And I almost forgot another mission in the kingdom, um, the Metropolitan Mission, the Episcopal, all the Episcopal, Bishop J. Delano Douglas. Also passed on the 19th. The 19th has been a total, total day in, in, in my, my sphere of association. It was the 19th of June when a good friend of mine, Dr. Scott, passed in St. Louis, Missouri. Then on July 19th this year, her husband, Bishop Alfonso Scott, a father figure in my life, passed. And then Jane Delaney Ellis, the Metropolitan Bishop. Just the bishop of all bishops, he passed on this past uh, 19. Amen. So let us pray. Tomorrow or today is not promised to be anyone. We don't have any visitors with us today. I think we have one semi semi visitor. She's not a visitor. Amen. She's not. She's just, she's just sister sorry. You're not a bizarre. No. You're part of the family. All right, God bless all of you. Amen. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Let us get our gift before the Lord, our offering. We don't want you to walk around. We want you to, as you're on your way out, do that here. District of you have anything to say, man?